Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Blackpool and Beyond. Hope you're doing well. Thank you to any new subscribers and thank you to anybody that's still viewing and supporting my channel. I'm just going for a short walk into town today. So, uh, I've got a few things to get before I go to work. So you might as well come along with me. It's a bit blowy in here, Blackpool, today, so I don't know what the sound's going to come out like on this little walk. I hope you're all still enjoying the nighttime ones. I don't want to get them a bit sameish and people get fed up with them. So it's always where they go out, whether it's weather permitting, if I go out, obviously. But um, if they get a bit sameish, let me know and we'll ease up for a while. I know they're not everyone's cup of tea, the night ones. A lot of people like them, but uh, just let me know. We can always have a few weeks off of them. We'll say nothing special today, just a walk into town. We're just in Lord Street at the moment, if anybody doesn't know where we are. And in front of us in the distance is the... Uh, multi-storey car park in town next to the new development of the uh, hotel holiday inn and obviously the tram station which uh, has been in previous videos so it's not a lot of new new news just letting you know what angle we're coming in from really more than anything Yeah, so we're in Lord Street anyway. We don't normally come into town this way. That's obviously the train station up there. Just in case anybody hasn't got the bearings to where we are. And yeah, over there is the flying handbag. We'll have a little nose in up the, the site now as we approach it and see how the hotel and the tram station's coming on. Let's have a look up here. It's 
certainly coming on. Show you inside. Yeah, so that's the top end there. And so this is a hotel. And then as we curve round. And that looking down the bottom end there. But we'll go round the other side anyway and show you it. Tower there. Just another, uh, just another angle in there, as you can see the development. We go around the other side and see the tram tracks coming in anyway. Morning. There's chaos there, which if you saw my last video, Blackpool Night Live, where there was that uh, little bit of action outside. If you did miss it, go back to it. Nothing major, just a little bit of action going on. Yeah, just coming on to Dixon Road now. We're on Monday lunchtime, it's about 12.30. Just show you inside the uh, part of the tram tracks here, what they're doing. So I don't know if you can see all that. Right, let's continue our walk. We're on Abingdon Street. And uh, there's this little alleyway here, back of the shops, and I think this used to be the old rock factory, but I don't know anything about it. It's like there's a sign there that says the old rock factory. But anyway, we have a walk down here. It's got some uh, graffiti on the wall. Yeah, there's this door here that says old rock factory. So this is the back of Talbot Road, and we've gone into it from... Abingdon Street. I'll show you on the way out where we are. It's got some history down here, I imagine. A lot of history down here. See, look at this tiled thing. That probably a butchers or something. I don't know. It's nothing special. It's just an alleyway that I've seen. And obviously, that in front of us is a new Premier Hotel. But yeah, it's just a little alleyway. There's probably somebody on here that views my channel and knows all about this.
anyway, nothing special, but just sort of show you that. I won't make this a long one. Like I say, I just had a few things to do around the town, so you might as well come with me. And I've always round. Show you a daytime video. I like to do a mix and match. I like to get out of the town as well. Which I've done one the other day that I think everybody liked. Rather than the normal routes, and there will be more of them. More of them to come. So please don't think there are going to be nighttime ones and daytime ones around the town, and that's it. There are some more different ones to come. I think I mentioned this before, but in Abingdon Street used to be a guy that sold all your e-cigs, your tobacco, accessories, lighters, and all that sort of stuff. Well, he moved out of Abingdon Street, and he's now in this shop here, which is in this little alley, which is sure where you know what, or you know where I mean, Joe Barlow. But yeah, he used to be in Abingdon Street, in the market, and they had four stores there and um, they've moved to this shop here now.
I'll go in there sometime and show you in there. My time before work is running out. I just thought as I'm passing, I'll show you where that shop was. Council Shopping Centre. This is, this is what we call Abingdon Street Market now, but it's not Abingdon Street Market. So this is Abingdon Street Market where they've come into this shop temporary. But as I say, the people that run all the tobacco accessories, lighters, e-cigs, liquids and all that sort of stuff, they are in that shop I just showed you. But some of the other, some of the other stalls that were in Abingdon Street Market are here now. towards the front, it's getting a bit blowy. Now it's starting to spit with rain. Just had a bit of a shower, now the sun's back out again. This is the old cedar tabbing pub in front of me that's been open and closed a few times in the years gone by. But I think there's a new development going on and it's going to be something different and better. I'll tell you any more information on it now. Yeah, it used to be called the Sea Battalion. I'm just coming up from St John's Square now into Topping Street. Have a little walk down here. You've all been down here before. I don't know you like these walks. Yeah. Here's Topping Street. Spin you around, get your bearings. Churchill's there, and Champs, which is Mark Kelly's group, which is a sports bar. And then Churchill's there, which is a very popular pub, does karaoke as well. Right, let's carry on down Topping Street.
then coming up on the left hand side we've got the Washington pub which is another good family pub shows all the uh, live sports actions good food yeah that's over there Just coming up to the top of Cookson Street now, where you've got Bazaris, which is uh, all you can eat buffet. Been there quite a while, it's very popular. It has mixed views. Some say the quality's gone down, some say it's never been there. Overall, I think it's good value for money if you want piles, piles of food. And obviously over there, in this phase one of Talbot Gateway, we've got the post office there. Now, still, there's still a few people that didn't realise that the post office used to be underneath WH Smiths, which shut down in early January. And uh, we had a while where we didn't have a central post office. But, uh, yeah, that's the post office now. I think we're back where we started basically. So yeah. There's the new hotel development. The station over there to my right. Well, that's just a little update and a little walk around. To most people it's uh, you've all seen it before, but to others that haven't. So I'm going to leave the video here and once again thank you for all your support on the channel if there's anything that you do want me recording if you left Blackpool years ago and you want to see something if you're interested in something drop me a line and if I can do it I'll do it for you until the next time take care We'll see you all again soon.